Hey guys, my name is Simsy. Hey you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2 Emperor Edition. Here today on the channel we have episode 4 of my Kingdom of Armenia series. Here today we're going to be going on a multiple front offensive. We're going to be declaring war upon Rhodes, Media and Tylus. So a lot of action to come here today. So if you like the sound of that, Feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. First up, got to say a massive thank you as well to this month's YouTube channel members. Massive thank you to Chuckles the Hut, Itchy Green Nero One, Divine Overhand, Hector A, and Dimitri H. Really appreciate those YouTube channel members. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, let's get stuck into today's video. So we currently have one full stack ready to launch an invasion into Hatra to seize it from media. The media. <laughs> Uh, this army consists of mostly Kartuli Axemen. We actually have two units of Persian Hoplites, which are a pretty cool, unique unit. Um, I can't wait to see how well they perform upon the battlefield. We've also got some elite Persian archers now. We can get most of these quality, high-quality units from the Royal Barracks back in Armenia. We've got another force just to the north with a recent recruitment of noble spears and another full stack well on the way we currently have the armenian navy along with a small army here ready to strike roads uh, the seleucids actually took side from them so they might take that back um, the seleucids are launching most of their military operations and campaigns out of salamis in cyprus which is quite interesting then with the rest of the army We've got the faction leader and king, Sammies, with a full stack, and another one with reinforcements as well. Family tree-wise, I've managed to adopt all of these other nobles into the family tree. So, we do have a biological line, along with a adopted line as well. So hopefully some of these guys can have some children, but I don't know. I think they're all just a little bit old. We currently have 90% of the dynasty under my control, which is quite cool. Diplomacy-wise, we currently have only a defensive alliance with the Athenians, and it doesn't look likely that they would ever upgrade that to a military. Now, unfortunately, we do have a non-aggression pact with media, so that will hamper our relations. And to combine with that, they currently have a military alliance with the Seleucids, so a war with them could potentially happen as well. Okay, well, let's start things off with the invasion of Hatra, I think. Now, we can't do any sabotage because we haven't got the money. Maybe we just stop hanging on some of this recruitment here. Particularly those that are like three turns away. We can avoid that. So let's try and sabotage the military supplies in Hatra, and we've been successful. Right, well, let's get this full stack to charge on in, I suppose. So... Will the Seleucids stand with them? I don't know. It's a 50-50. They may or might not. I'm curious to see how they react. And they're going to stand with them. Okay. Well, we got to make this battle quite quick and decisive because we could make a potential peace with the Seleucids. All right. So, media, eastern faction, mostly eastern spe spears, a lot of cavalry. They do have some reinforcing units as well. Mostly Axemen, Persian Hoplites. I would like more archers, but these Slingers are going to be more than capable for inflicting high casualties. Now, thankfully, it is a settlement battle. They're not coming out against me, which could have been a potential option. They probably would have actually done better to march out against me and face me on the field of battle as their cavalry is quite decent. Far better than mine, because I have none. <laughs> okay, so let's go for a multiple-pronged attack. Try and quickly envelop the settlement. We also will send in our Persian hoplites. Hopefully I can get these guys to, in particular, target cavalry. Alright, let's uh, start the battle and have a quick pause and have a look at these guys. So here are the Persian hoplites that are a part of the Armenian 
recruitment pool. These guys look quite cool. <laughs> nice. Nothing on the shields, though. But, yeah. Very sort of Lawrence of Arabia, I think. Nice. Some sick-looking pants as well. Yeah, so they are kind of, like, inspired by hoplites. I wonder if some of these fellas, maybe their ancestors served under <laughs> Alexander. And here we have some elite Persians as well. Alright, let's unpause and let's give out some orders to advance. Let's go. And we'll move my skirmishes up as best we can. Make sure they're on skirmish mode. And we'll keep the, the general and the other cavalry here out of range. Right, let's charge on in. The Axemen. They should be able to inflict massive losses upon the brave men of media here. I'm going to be bringing more southern Mesopotamian territory under our control. Okay, I might just get one unit here to engage that because we might be able to sneak a fair few around here if we're careful. You guys keep going this way. So you engage this. While you guys try to make your way around. Nice little skirmisher shot. As the Axemen charge on in. Against these Eastern Spearmen. We look like we have far superior equipment. And once the fighting breaks out. We're really going to see... Who's got the mustard for this one? Okay, let's uh, maybe split up my skirmishes slightly. So it's like advance you here. You guys can probably be over here. All right, that little flanking maneuver has actually worked quite well. So a couple of pockets of fighting have now broken out with our Axemen. Oh my god, that guy just got suplexed. We've got some WWE action over here. <laughs> Right, their cavalry's getting stuck into me here. We have to be a little bit careful of that. Swing over there to help. Yeah, it's a shame that, just unfortunately, the Persian hoplites aren't hitting any cavalry. They're actually going straight into pikes, which is not what we want whatsoever. Unfortunately, these hoplites have probably been caught and are probably going to be destroyed because of it. Let's move you up here. Nice. We're having a lot more luck on this northern side. Our skirmishes have advanced. Let's uh, move my cavalry and general unit in. If I was to do some hammer and anvil strikes, we might... Look, we might try and do it. Let's drop an inspire, or what have we got at our disposal here. And then we'll try and rotate our units around. Now, we are significantly outnumbered. However, we do have quality over quantity compared to them. Right. Let's swing you around. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh, we're going to win here, which is going to be good. Nice. That's fantastic. We're going to be able to free up multiple units. Focus on them and crush them. Alright, cavalry still swinging around. Yeah, crikey, this is not good. Oh, these Persian hoplites are actually fucked. They're pinned down by Eastern Spearmen, and now the AI has quite astutely moved pikemen in behind. We're actually going to lose these two... Persian pikes completely, matter of fact. Alright, they've been freed up, so you can swing down this way to help. You're focusing on this. I did send my cavalry in here to try and hit these pikes from behind. 
Maybe we continue to cycle charge into that. You come back around this way. These guys have nearly been completely crushed. You're swinging this way, nice. Right, let's get multiple of these skirmishes over here. Okay, unfortunately all that remains on this side is the cavalry. We've actually given chase over here and we're starting to initiate the countdown of one of their capture points, which is interesting. These Eastern Spearmen are still holding down. We've been hammer and anvil struck there. Um, have they deployed their pikemen down properly? No, not really. Okay, we haven't been able to successfully rotate these guys around, unfortunately. Alright, we've got a lot of units being tied down here. So we'll try and swing them down here now. They've been freed up. Alright, skirmishes are coming at me, which is fine. We should be able to make quick work with our general unit. An additional cavalry unit as well. Alright. We've redirected some of the troops here. Hopefully they can come and help. Perfect, they've been crushed. And we've won here as well, so let's advance. Although it looked like we were probably going to make most of the progress on this side. It's actually changed a bit. They've now capitulated. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, swing my cavalry back and around into the settlement. There's some skirmishes here hitting us with impunity. Continue to focus against them. You go for this. You go for that. We are advancing, but we are struggling slightly. Still about 80% in our favor. But we just have to be a little bit careful with this encroachment. Okay, we've won here well. Make sure to go to the town square. Get my skirmishes to hit this pike unit from the back. All of them. Alright, my cavalry is starting to wrap around. They've got their general unit here, which is something we should really keep an eye on. Hang on. Nearly sacrifice one axe unit while the rest swing around. My skirmishes are still targeting them there. Okay. We're starting to push in now effectively. Yeah. Once you get Axemen in your Armenian army build for Rome 2, they massively change the tide of battles. Like those Eastern Spearmen are pretty trash. Alright, let's continue to fire into them. Alright, let's push around the back of this. Well, maybe you send not everyone, just two of them will be more than fine. When you're here, they're dropping like flies now. can't imagine what unit is still holding. Nice. Let's end the battle there. Close one in the end. We lost a thousand, which is quite costly, but to be fair, they did un outnumber us by a thousand. There was a couple military mishaps there, unfortunately. Getting the two Persian hoplites crushed. But the Axemen prevailed. Dude, 360, 200. Nice. The Axemen performed... Really quite well in that one. Oh, thankfully we only lost one in the end. So let's just straight up occupy Hatra. Nice. And we're actually going to be able to use the buildings inside, like, instantly. I might break that down, though. So to get all of Mesopotamia under our control, we do have to take Seleucia and some Parthian territory. Let's just have a look at the map of things. Oh, Serenica have that. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I think Carthage pushed up quite effectively, but then they got through back. 
So Lucid's, uh, sorry, uh, Syracuse own most of North Africa. Egypt is firmly back in control of their territory. And Parthia seems to be the dominant power in the Far East. While these uh, other media factions here in Media Magna. So we could maybe look to push into there as well. Because they're only a... Yeah. Two province strong faction. But, looking at the map now, we are definitely the um, predominant power in Anatolia. Which is what I wanted to desire and strive for in this campaign. So, let's have a look at the Seleucid threat potentially before we start sending envoys. So, they've got a full stack here. Uh, well, they actually got two full stacks, which is interesting. Jeez, you got a third on the way as well. So, look, we've had pretty good relations with them. They are interested in peace. Would you give me a payment? How much? Let's say 3k. Because I'll accept that. Nice. Because they're not interested in a war whatsoever. We are now unreliable. So that's something we need to keep an eye on. But that nice little quick war against Hatra and Media worked well. I don't think we're going to have much of a problem here. So let's move probably this army north to Tushpa. So then we can push eastward. Because I have no ambition to go to war with Chimeria. Even though they occupy, occupy Sinop. Yeah, we got these weird little enclaves in our territory. Same with the Seleucids as well. The funny thing is, we've kind of stopped them from being destroyed. <laughs> they are still at war with a lot of factions, but... The factions that were... Initially targeting, targeting them and bordering them... Have actually really been... Uh, well, they've been destroyed by me, so they couldn't gobble, gobble up more of their territory. But I do kind of find it quite hilarious that the Seleucids have fled back to Cyprus. <laughs> it's actually quite a cool defensive stronghold. Like, could you imagine if they held it for, like, a couple more hundred years or something? Instead of being, like... Destroyed into ruin. Okay. Well, let's uh, make plans and uh, preparations to go to war with Rhodes, I think. Now, this one's going to be a little bit different. I am honored to receive they are currently actually at war with the Seleucids. Greetings so, I'll join your war against Rhodes, what do you say? Speak, okay. But do not, not interested. What was if I send you some money? Logic, no, they're still not interested. Alright, we're just going to have to straight up war deck them then. So, let's surround Rhodes. Alright, so... Initially... Ooh! Maybe auto-resolvable. Hang on. Because this isn't the best army. That's my concern. Because I could disembark this army. Like, what's in this? It's actually the navy that's better. How about we just maintain the blockade and see how they react? Because Rhodes are alone. And then we can fully take the province of Asia. That's why I'm targeting them. Alright, back up north. Let's uh, have a look at Tylus as well. Dude, we're going on a hell of a tirade. I was just double checking if we have any alliances with Tylus. Or treaties, because we've already broken a bunch of treaties quite quickly there. Alright, so let's uh, fly on in. Now, thankfully, Tylus has taken all of Thrace and, like, part of Macedonia, because I'd really covet these. Turkic and Greek territories. 
I love I can get them under Armenians' control. So let's march on over. And we're going to win this first initial battle. Nice. Let's occupy. Let's break down a lot of this. Okay, so... I suppose I move this... S Ooh, why are you going navally? I'd rather you stay on land, please. Okay. And let's move my spy into range. Okay, so there's an army here. We can sabotage. Failed, unfortunately. So there's a small army there. Yeah, I really want to try and take Pella. So we'll see how the Rhodians react. And let's just quickly have a look if there's any construction areas we can upgrade. There seems to be some. I'm trying to grow our military capacity in Pergamon, essentially. Alright. And then we've got another full stack coming. My god, the clouds in winter are fucking blinding. Anyway, let's uh, end the turn and continue. Let's see how the AI react after those multiple war engagements. Tylus is calculating. I wonder what they're going to do. Okay, they're actually moving into Anthena. I think we'll go with mercenary availability. I don't think we're going to need them though. Um, let's try and get you two married off eventually. Maybe secure the promotion of you. Everywhere else we're fine. Yeah, we're still all. I'm trying to think where I sit you in the border. Maybe push, maybe just move you to, like I said, Tushba. I think that's the play. Let's put a pit mine here. Okay. So let's just queue up the last of those axemen that I took off. We can nearly get another army if we want, to be fair. I think I might. Like, how far away are we from recruitment? Two. Because this is the best area to get units from. It's going to be a while before we can get a royal barracks in the Far East anyway. So maybe let's recruit a another army. within Armenia. Let's just get it going, get it queued up. Okay, we're still besieging Rhodes. Yes. And this army's pushed down here as well. Okay, the weaker army can hit Odessa. And we're going to be able to occupy the settlement as well. Alright, let's get this army to hit theirs. They might pull back. No, they're actually going to stand and fight. Alright, let's fight this one and have our first battle against Tylus. Once this is being destroyed, this army, we should be able to push into Philippopolis and ideally Pella and take Macedonia. The former Macedonian capital. That'd be massive if we can get that. Okay, nothing too overly complicated. Frontal charge. Cavalry on the left and right flank. About a 50-50. It's because they've got really good... melee defense overall, those spearmen. So, if they pin us in place, that could be an issue, but... We should be able to hit them with 
unrelenting and over resounding force and we'll be fucking fine. Alright, let's speed things up. Looks like they're gonna sit, sit quite stagnant, which is interesting. Okay, so if I can form this up like something like that, yep. So we lock most of the army, but we allow enough to properly flank. Now, we're gonna probably. Dis or the, we're gonna agitate them or displace them or move them once we get our cavalry around. Actually, go back into the forest here, just in case you do get hit by. Some skirmisher fire. Alright, let's move the general unit up. We're actually already in fire range with our archers. And they already have the order for fire at will, so they should be firing. Oh, here they go. Um... Alright, let's give out some attack orders. Alright, cavalry go around here. Alright, frontline fighting is broken on out. Perfect. And let's move you up here. I'm actually going to switch to a flammable shot. I don't tend to do that. Because you quite sometimes need to, the increased hit points on units. But because these guys are so lightly armored, we've been attacked here by some mercenary citizen cab. We should attack that. Uh, we're going to be able to inflict more morale damage with some flammable shots. So archers, ignite your arrows. Loose. Alright. Nice, they've capitulated. Continue to swing around. I've got an oath sworn unit hitting me here. So send a cavalry unit come, to come down and help, because that's going to be their most dangerous unit. And already, in combination with a charge from morale, shock. And we're like, that already um, put their morale down, that charge. Comboing that with flammable ammunition. Look at this. They are severely losing the will to fight. Perfect. Come down in here help, please. Uh, charge after them. Alright. Here comes a Persian cavalry charge on these oath sworn. Should be quite solid and impactful. And it sure as shit is. Alright, get my cavalry to start running down them. Okay. We're slowly swinging around here. But the rapid advance actually slowed down a bit. Alright. Uh, I'm going to get all my archers to quickly turn off that flammable ammunition, switch to a standard shot, hit those oath sworn. Unfortunately, that axe unit capitulated. And let's continue to hit them there. Alright, you go this way. Alright, they're doing fine. Because that's the unit we're really going to struggle against. But look how much damage our archers are inflicting against them. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, they're about to fully be dissolved there, their general unit. And the engagement which made up the front line attack has now ended. And that's it. Their army is now in a full retreat. Let's give out some attack orders with my cavalry. And we'll make sure to try and run down as many of them as we can. Of 
Cool. Um, yeah, the rest have escaped there. There's a couple more in the tree line here, but we're just not going to be able to catch them, I don't think. Maybe go after these guys. The cataphracts are a little bit more cumbersome than the lighter armored Persian cav. They're also just a little bit exhausted, to be fair. Alright, let's uh, end that one there. Fucking decisive one. Holy shit, only 500 men lost. Archers did. Meh. They did fine. Would have liked to see more, but we were kind of going for a more of a morale shock. But these axemen, dude. 230, 210, silver chevron axemen as well. Hell yeah. Couple of the uh, Persian cavalry did really well. 200 each as well. In inflicting casualties. Nice. Another decent fight. And then we've got to deal with the roads question. Oh damn, we did lose one axe unit, unfortunately. That might have been due to friendly fire, potentially. Client state established? Seriously? They bent the knee to Camaria. Interesting. I'm surprised uh, they went and did that, to be fair. Alright, uh, let's run this down. Completely and utterly crush them. So there's a small army here in Pella. I think we folk... Hmm, I kind of want to... We're going to have issues here with buildings, though, if we're not careful. Like, we're going to have to stop some of the uh, recruitment in some of these areas. For example, here. But I kind of want that army to hit, this northern army to hit Philippopolis. Let's go with trade. Let's go with food. Break that down. Well, maybe focus on the buildings that are kind of fucked. Firstly, before converting. Oh, no, we can do that one again now. Right. Yeah, so this army, I think, head to Pella. Are Tylus at war with anyone else? The Idrisian Kingdom, which have been thrown. Why the fuck are they down there? Can I see them? No, I can't. I was like, what? It's kind of strange. Athens have done alright. They've retaken Larissa and Apollonia. Alright, cool. Oh, we're going to be able to get lead as a resource if we can take that. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Because we are still pretty a little bit hamstrung on the resource. Section wise. Um, yeah, so you go for this. Yeah, and then. Uh, do we, that's a fair bit of public order if we move out. Okay. Uh, everywhere else we're fine. Does Rhodes have a proper navy somewhere, though? That would be my concern. Tyrosh, Antioch. Because how long is this going on for? Hang on. None shall pass. Like, how long can this last, this siege? Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. I fucking misclicked. Um. Shit. Well, maybe we just fight this one. Like, if I... Uh, blockade with... Hang on. Where is... Where's the icon? Blockade. Hang on. There we go. Blockade with you. Then get this arm and hit that. 
so they are going to stand and fight, but without my reinforcements. So that's not what we want. So we're going to have to go back in and just assault it. I was trying to get it to work that we weren't attacking Rhodes itself, but it was going to be like a land battle, say over here, with everyone in it, and we can land our amphibious units in. Right, let's fight this one and take uh, Rhodes, I suppose. Now, we're going to take our time to get all of our infantry units, our marines, from the ships. As they are mostly mercenary recruits, and they're probably better than the actual standing army leading this operation. It's mostly made up of eastern spears, which are kind of trash. So, where's our navy coming from? It's coming from the north. You never know, they might actually attack us. Oh my god, is that the Colossus? Oh shit, it is too. Ha! Oh, can't show that. There we go. Nice, we're about to get the, uh... Colossus of Rhodes under our control. Nice. Alright, let's uh, move you here. Oh, come on, make that a bit better. You never know, they might actually attack us, but we'll see how we go. So we'll just try and sit something like this, and then we'll wait for everyone else to come on in. Our reinforcements, our reinforcements have, arrived. have arrived. Fantastic. Try and get them to the beachhead as quickly as possible. Didn't really have overly crazy desires for, for roads, to be fair, but it's just a part of the... Asia province, weirdly. But, uh, here is the Colossus. Pretty cool. Alright. Still trying to move most of the, uh, the navy in. We actually have a ballista unit. Which is kind of interesting. Alright, still trying to move everyone here. Um, yeah, so maybe just try and get everyone there. To disembark. Let's move this ballista unit over here. Can I get a lot of these guys to start? Uh, not everyone can row hard, but some can, so we'll do it. Yeah, because that will just in increase the ship speed. The quicker they can get in, the better. Oh fuck, they're moving. I was looking down at this bloody bar here. They're actually coming out. As I thought they potentially might. Because they know that the longer they wait, the more this battle is going to be within our favour. I'll try and make to the beachhead here then. Yeah, they're going to send up the mob first by the look of it. As slowly but surely, the Armenian Navy is going to come in and help. Alright, we've got a ballista unit. Let's try and cause some carnage and go over here. So these guys are going to get absolutely decimated by slingers. Flanking is the problem. Oh, I should have maybe pushed further up and locked here. Would have been a better place to hold. But here come our reinforcements, ever so slowly. Alright, we're just currently trading skirmisher fire at the moment. Um, I'll try and move my... There's an arrow tower there we have to be a little bit careful of, but I think overall we're fine. If we can somehow move the ballista unit there, we'll be good. Oh, here they go. So, they're actually charging out up against me, which is kind of what I wanted anyway. Just need to hold long enough for our reinforcements to come on in. Because I don't think man to man we're probably going to win. Alright. Skirmishes have come off firstly by the look of it. Okay. So you've got a flammable round on now. 
Yeah, so can you hit into this, potentially? So I'll just go for a bit of a... Oh, fuck. A bit of a wild shot. Like, is that going to clip anything? Or oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Alright. That actually didn't do too bad. How about we try this secondary round now? Overshot it slightly. Alright, let's uh, get these reinforcements in. And... Let's get these guys in as well. Okay, we're still managing to hold quite well. Let's drop an Inspire on the front line. Alright, let's get our skirmishers to start hitting into theirs. Which I hope is what we're targeting. Alright, so let's get some of these marines in over here. We'll strike, start get them to skirmish. Continue to fire into like this cluster, prioritizing the enemy general. Alright, let's get some more fellas in. So the reinforcements have arrived. Mostly skirmishers. Some more well equipped than others. Um, let's get my cavalry over here to help. Just got to be a little bit careful of the general. Potentially capitulating. Alright, these skirmishers are here now. And like I said, the longer this battle goes on, the more it's going to turn into our favour. As our reinforcements will be disembarking. Yeah, you go, go over there and help them. Uh, we actually crushed those slingers there. But Rhodian slingers are arguably the best bar Cretan in the game. Slingers wise. Right. Uh, let's uh, take this hill with the um, naval reinforcements. Uh, th that citizen cab is actually trying to run away. Oh, this is what I was worried about. Um, the skirmish is potentially moving. Hang on. Now we're about to crush the citizen cab. Actually, you know what? Instead of like coming back and cycle charging, get this citizen cab to try and snipe the town square. It might actually work. You never know. Alright. We'll make a push here in a moment, but these Eastern Spearmen are holding off against these Hoplites. Once we, um... Get everyone in. Let everyone have a little bit of a breather. You go for them, actually. Quickly reform. You might be able to do a little bit of damage. Alright. Let's attack. You swing around this way. Or you try and swing around as well. Alright, continue to skirmish like this. And we'll get essentially everyone here to advance. Um, they could have a unit back in here, but you never know. I'm hoping not. Alright, charge and try and surround them. Alright, we're about to try and cap the town square. Uh, this ballista unit... I'm just actually going to tell you to stop firing. And maybe just come on over and disembark. Alright, they're pushing in well into here. Additional skirmishes. Swing this way. Yeah, this the first army is really depleted. Maybe just send two units up here. We don't seem to be able to cap it with the cavalry. Some total wars it works, sometimes it doesn't. We're completely surrounding this hoplite unit. But even being surrounded by four sides, they're still not being crushed. It's not getting hit with a mortal blow. No, now it is. Uh, let's give out some more attack orders. Yes, this is perfect. All these naval units that have come on in can just skirmish 
easily. We're going to win here today. It's just only a matter of time. Nice. Victory. And now we've claimed Rhodes. A seriously important... Culturally significant city. And one now under... Armenian control. Fuck yeah. We're slowly but surely building up the Armenian Empire. Yeah. I wonder how far we are away from actually transitioning from a kingdom to an empire. We must be quite close. You'd think we got so much territory. Ironically, nearly as large as the Ottoman Empire, probably. In the same sort of area as well. Nice. So we've got roads under our control now. Oh, wow. Just looking at all the military buildings. Quite a fair few. And have they been instantly crushed, potentially? No. We're still at war with them. They have a small, insignificant army slash navy in the south. Alrighty. You're still swinging up this way. We've got no immediate rebellions slash overly concerning uh, public order issues, do we? No. I don't believe so. Okay, well, uh, let's uh, end the turn and continue. We'll deal with those unassigned skills later. You spend so much time, like, wasting time on unassigned skills and diplomacy. <laughs> Sometimes it's better off just to do it off camera. Early on in the campaign, yeah. You need to definitely prioritize your skills, especially on the harder difficulties. But we're now we're 50 turns in. Like, does a 3 or a 4% bonus to infantry really affect our fantastic army builds at this stage? Oh, okay. Looks like they're going to give us some uh, quite reasonable resistance here in Pella. Which is a little bit surprising and, well, concerning. We might need to get some more armies over here. Right, let's uh, move you north. Maybe even sabotage the settlement, potentially. These are properly deployed. Uh, yes. So if I was to switch things over, what do we need? Oh, Imperium level 5. What are we even at? 1, 2, 3. Oh, we're a little bit off, unfortunately. Which is a shame. Right. Uh, I'll get you over here, I guess. Alright, let's put you into Tushba province. Get some more Persian hoplites in. Uh, this army... We probably should head it... Let it go to Greece, I think. Now let's get some... Uh, look, you know what? Let's just... Get, I think I kind of need an army over there now. So let's just try and get it there as quick as possible. I'm sure we can get some better quality units in Greece eventually. And we got this army now. We can allocate some of those funds. Alternatively. Yeah, so I think maybe we go with like an army build of like... Noble Spears now. As the main core... Central unit. Oh, thankfully the Road Navy has basically cornered itself. Nice. Perfect. Well, it's actually an army as a navy, but we've crushed it there. And do they have any more? No, they've got another army down here. How big is that? Okay, that, that one's nothing. Thankfully... Oh, actually, i got to stop some of that recruitment. Because... 
Got some territory and roads I need to deal with. Last thing I want is a bunch of slums there to be propped up. Okay, we can probably move this army out now. And I think we'll keep the Mediterranean Navy, like, actually garrisoned within Rhodes. I'm saving a lot because we had our first game crash of the series last episode. And I'm a little bit paranoid that it could happen again. Because I don't think I even saved, like, once. <laughs> I was just relying on auto, um... Auto saves. Alright, send the turn to continue. Oh, bump the mic. And we had we got a little bit scarily close to a save corruption. <laughs> and like a recording corruption, so I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so if you sort of see me overly zealously well, saving, that is the reason. The Idrisian Kingdom's been destroyed. A little bit of attrition there in Pella. Um, whenever the, of these um, events come up, I usually tend to just to disrupt the plot. Alright, now that's been a turn. No, these things are still not on my side. I did say I kind of wanted to keep the navy there, but maybe we need to send it up to Pella. Like, that would help us out. In a potential auto resolve. So that's some more siege equipment. Alright. Let's uh, take Popodava, or I like what I like to call Philippopolis. Uh Philippopolis. <laughs> right, let's break that down. Break it down. Alright, so they should in theory only have these two pieces of territory. You are welcome. Uh, Daisha, uninterested in any non-aggression pact. I'd love to get one with them, to be fair. I think we keep this army here. Whoops. I don't think we move it out. You can continue to go, though. Alright. Ooh, I'm just trying to think if we could... Because why are they why are they here? Come. Hmm. Hang on, we might be able to declare war upon. Uh, media atropatine, I think that's how you say it. Because hang on. So we got fourteen units here. Four. This is in a force march, so they can't fucking move. Do we have military access with them I or something? They, yeah, we do. Now, okay. Because I got this other army here as well. I think we attack them. Because that's a pretty good opportunity to crush one of the two military forces here. Because that's my next target, if we can go over there. Yeah, let's do that. So let's hit this. So they can't move. It's going to be a bloody ambush. And a decisive one as well. Um, what What's remaining? Okay, a little bit. I was like, oh, maybe we send these other guys up. Alright, let's crush them, and we'll try and seize some of their territory, I think. Oh god, they're still there, fuck. Alright, need to completely crush the army. I guess we're farming experience points, but... A little bit annoying, that one. Alright, uh, let's push to the border. I'm, I don't fear any attack from them, even in a force march. Alright, let's get a bunch of them going. Okay. Um, we're still sieging at them fine. 
Let's uh, end the turn and continue. Unless Tylus attacks Simpella, we might have to deal with a battle against them. Oh shit, what are the Solicitors doing? Nothing, thankfully. Strength and courage. Oh shit. They must have been too happy. Us attacking our neighbor. The fucking, I don't know. What's up here? Chechens or some shit? Maybe. I don't know. Mm, it's more snow here, isn't it? Uh, what have we got going on here? Oh, they've made a confederation. Alright, where is... My spy. Okay, so the army's here. Alright, let's take... Gazaka. Now, thankfully, these guys are eastern, so we're going to actually be able to use some of the buildings. Oh, wow. We got 16k. We must have done a mission, to be fair. Let's get some more axemen, I suppose. We'll try and run that down. Uh, can we actually get any more agents? No, we're at um, full capacity. Alright, the Navy's about to get here now. So that should change the tide of this siege. You're nice swinging up and around here as well. Let's go with a well. And can you hit this? Ideally, if you can. Nice. Oh, thankfully Tylus took this. Oh my god. Because sometimes the invasion of Thrace can be f kind of fucking sketchy. I have in the past struggled, particularly with Hellenic kingdoms occupying this territory. Hell, even Thracians, to be fair. But if a barbarian kingdom takes most of Thrace, you're laughing. You're going to be able to crush them quite easily. Alright, so have things changed? Yeah, look at this massively. Alright, let's uh, take Pella and hopefully with it the last of Tylus. Yep, they are being crushed and destroyed. And what a massive coup this is taking Pella. And we've actually managed to meet up with our Athenian allies. We border with them. Dude, I wouldn't have thought we would be able to take Pella. In today's Let's Play. Holy shit, that's a massive... Massive achievement. Alright, we'll try and get rid of... These guys. Alright, we're looking good overall though. Let's do some minor. Construction. All right, let's continue on. We've actually had a Macedonian rebellion in uh, Pol Potava. Oh shit. And they're actually going to take it. Because <laughs> we recently uh, took the settlement. There's like no garrison inside. Shit. Hopefully they don't establish diplomatic relations quickly with anyone. Okay, well, I did say I was going to have the fleet in Rhodes, but it actually might be well suited to instead be in Pella for now. We'll quickly crush this Macedonian um, uprising. Well, I guess it's like Northern Macedonian <laughs> uprising. Nice. Hopefully we don't have another anytime soon. Actually, if I move you here, 
that might quell it actually. Yeah, it will stop it re rebelling from this exact turn. Uh, if I force march you, you can't go back. However, you can get up here. Okay. Uh, that army's still stationed there. Ah, oh, fucking damn it. They actually swung around. That's annoying. We're going to need to give chase on that. Alright, let's just try and sabotage this then. Yeah, because they're going to take Hatra, unfortunately. Which is a little bit annoying. Because I want to try and get rid of media here today as well, if we can. If we can get to a point where we're not at war with anyone in today's uh, episode, get to a clean slate will be good. We're going to be able to retake it, so I'll order resolve it. I don't know if I could have won that. Initially looking, maybe not. Okay. Let's just get some reinforcements. Whatever we can. Charge in. Let's crush them. Nice. They didn't even hold it for that long. Uh, I think we hit this army outside. Now we can occupy an enter. Uh, we can occupy and enter into an empty city. One, two, three, four. Are we at Imperium Five now, technically? Yes, we can. We can actually swing things over to an empire. Twenty percent research. I think I might do it. Yeah, should we have an Armenian emperor now? I potentially think so. Oh, he can probably get married off again, to be fair. Get some half siblings in. Oh my god. Well, let's declare this Armenian kingdom to officially become an empire. Perfect. Hell yeah, we are officially the Armenian Empire. Holy fuck. That's a huge swath of territory. So we are only at war with media here, but we're... Oh, they've got an army just in the north. Well, that's not going to cause any concern. We can even sabotage it if we want. Okay. Alright, we'll try and run that down. So, yeah, we haven't quite finished them off, but uh, they don't have any territory. Well, unfortunately, on that note here, guys, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching episode 4 of the Total War Rome 2 Emperor Edition submodded Armenian campaign. And we've basically completed my short victory conditions that I set out, which was to take all of Anatolia. Hell, we've actually even got a little bit further. And we've taken Thrace and, Macedo and um, Macedonia here, taken Pella. There's some small little annoying enclaves here. I'd never wanted war with Cameria. It's annoying that they took Sinope. And the Seleucids have taken that as well. But, um, yeah. Look, let me know in the comments. I'll put a pin in the campaign here. I'll check your feedback and suggestions if you want to see more. Armenian parts definitely open to do so there's still a little bit more we can do with this campaign but also if you guys want me to move on to something else we could um, as well I'll sort of check the feedback the likes the comments the subs and sort of the general feedback and consensus but we're at a really strong stage now we've, we've flipped things over to an empire uh, victory conditions wise we need 85 for military Egypt Syria Scythia further east. So looking at the map, wow, we've really grown Armenia from a one province 
faction to span the Caucasus, Mesopotamia, Asia Minor, Istanbul, and now Macedonia. Yeah, because we could have a war against Parthia in the east. We could go to war with Nabatia. Uh, we could betray the Seleucids. They're still somehow alive. Egypt, they've had some pretty decent wars against the Kingdom of Kush. They might be quite weakened. But Syracuse did quite well, taking North Africa. Rome is still struggling against the Etruscans for whatever reason. I'm blown away that Serenica actually has Lilibaeum. And it looks like... The Vivisci have actually taken most of Iberia. Which I think... Yeah, this is like a barbarian tribe. Um, Celtic barbarian, not... Um, Celt-Iberian. Which is interesting, but... <laughs> dude, we had some crazy characters. Unfortunately, we lost our first king. It went to his two brothers who died. But, uh, Sammy's is now the emperor of the Armenian Empire. And we basically can launch any operation militarily where we want because even like diplomatically look at this Athens we've got like like this is what we really control in our sphere of influence but anyway thank you very much for watching got to wrap things up here today and uh, lastly I've got to say th massive thank you to this month's YouTube channel members so massive thank you to Chuck was the hut itchy green Nero one divine overhand hecked up a and Dimitri H really appreciate those guys if you do become a youtube channel member you get your name read out at the start and end of every stream you get a bunch of access to emotes and your name highlighted and stuff and you also get access to the mod list for this series and any other that you can request because once you become a channel member you get access to the uh the private discord so anyway thanks guys for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy. Goodbye.